this YouTube thing, this and this big real 16 wheel 16. Why I keep saying 16? This CDL big rig 18 real trucking. Yo, I want to give a super shout out to the princess of Ditsy Hill. Thank you for coming up in my comment session. As you always do, you're my day one, you know it. And if you guys want to get shout out in the next video, all you got to do is like this video, like it, like it. And then in the comments, hashtag shout outs. And maybe you'll get shout out in the next video. Guys, what do you, what do you guys think? Have, this YouTube thing, man, would you guys that's coming into this game, would you pay for information from from YouTubers that only been in the game for less than a less than five years? I'm going to say less than five years because I'm not sure. Now, this is not a shot at nobody. This is just this is just my opinion, because remember, I talked about Patreon and I decided to go against it. All right. But you new jacks that's coming on watching YouTube for whatever reasons that y'all that that y'all searching for. Y'all searching for how to drive a truck, y'all searching for what companies to go with, y'all searching for truck drivers and seeing how their journeys are. And I do appreciate you guys that's coming in and finding me and my channel and coming along with me. Now, the only thing I ask from you guys is just subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. If you want to support the channel, if you want to donate to the channel, by all means. But I'm not trying to sell you information that I know. I want to give you the information that I know. I'm not going to have no coaching calls. My calls, you can call me up, hit me in my email, and we'll chop it up. I'll, I'll give you the the information that I have learned in this big wheel, 18 wheel CDL trucking out here. I'll give you my information. I'll throw it out there to you. You don't have to call me up and go through a, a what? You, you got to go through a process just to get to me. And then I hit a timer for 10 minutes just to take your money just to tell you what you can already find on YouTube, on the internet, on the Facebook groups. There's a gang of truckers out here that are willing to give you information that you need. You just have to find it. Now, there are, there, there are seminars. I mean, there are guys out here that's in the game that, that I would like to pay to get their information. The likes of Bill Gates. I like to have five minutes with him. Jay Z, Sean Puffy Combs, uh, and other moguls like that. I will pay. I I will pay the to, to, to get that kind of information because they came from the gutter and now they where they at. So yeah, I will pay. But would I pay? Would I pay a YouTuber that's only been in the game for less than five years? I would probably donate to him. I'll probably donate a couple of dollars, but actually actually pay for the same information that I can get online? I don't think I would do that. I don't think I would do that at all. You know, this cat right here, you know, he... <laughs> He sounds like one of them cats from uh, from late night infomercial. Look at this picture here. Ten children and a mom and a dad live in a little tent like this. Crowded, destitute. We couldn't even speak English at the time. And after we got out of this refugee camp, we got to do many odd jobs to support the family, like washing dishes, bus boy, mowing lawn, and so forth. Thank God that I found a unique system to make millions in real estate starting from nothing. As a result, we became financially independent. And several years ago, I decided to share this wealth building knowledge with other people across the country. Many people took my seminar, become very wealthy. Many of my students are about to get on TV to tell you how my system has changed their life. If you want to become financially independent, come to my seminar. Let me show you how to make the fortune you have always dreamed about. Yo, he's sitting around on his yacht 
got the girls up under his arms and and he just smiling ear to ear over here talking about yo y'all want to be where i'm at you want to be where i'm at come you want to be where i'm at well i will tell you how to get where i'm at all you got to do is just buy my book doing what you want to do in life is like being on vacation every single day now here's your chance to get the government to pay for it i've done all the running around for you and put it right here in one book all you have to do is call the call is free and the book is guaranteed so call me you have nothing to lose and a whole new life to gain my 20 my 25 dollar book you buy my 25 dollar book i'll tell you exactly how i got here and in that $25 book, it really don't tell you shit. When you tell people that they can find a job making $25,000 a year, they believe it. But when you tell them that there's an opportunity for them to make millions in real estate, they're being skeptical. You know what? There's two kind of people in life, the small thinker and the big thinker. Which one are you? But I'm not going to revel on, you know what I'm saying? Because all in all, it's a hustle. It really is. This this YouTube thing for a lot of YouTube truckers ain't nothing but a hustle, especially for the ones that's that's trying to use this as a form of maybe a making money type of deal. It's like what Snoop Dogg said. The game is not to be told. You know what I'm saying? But some of us will like to tell you the game. We don't want to sugarcoat it. At least I don't. You ask me about this game, I'm going to tell you about this game. This game been good to me. You see what I'm saying? It's been good to me. YouTube been been good to me too. You know. I, I I say YouTube has been real good to me because I keep the drama away. See, unfortunately for for the other channel, you know, now that he's doing quote unquote membership, okay? He's he's doing membership and this is a and this is a quote because of the drama that came to his channel for the last two years. Now there's some diehard diehard YouTube fans. <laughs> Your favorite YouTube trucker. Now you might come in my comments and you probably might get mad at me, but hold up. Hold up. This is just my opinion. It's a it's a forum that I got just like he got. I choose to give my I choose to give my information for free. My friends, I know lots of you out there are skeptical. In my hand, framed, is a check for two hundred and three thousand dollars and twenty nine dollars and thirty two cents. I net in one transaction, one deal. This is a net check. Lots of people keep telling their families that when I get rich, I shall take care of you. But there are two kinds of peoples in the world, doers and talkers. Which one are you? Just saying. You know, if y'all want to pay, that's all well and fine. Maybe, maybe, he, maybe, maybe he do got a vast full of knowledge. But since I've been in this game five years now, I'm I'm at that five year mark, so I I guess I'm a veteran now, right? Right. So I got five years experience in this game. I'm just saying, y'all don't have to pay me, you know what I'm saying. But if you guys do want to donate, is I I will take it. I will take it. It will be appreciated. All right, let's move on into the uh into uh other topics. All right, check this out. This is not a trucking related topic. Uh it more so on a on a sad situation that I came across. Look. Domestic violence. You know what I'm saying? It's a serious issue in all communities, not just black, not just white, but in all communities, domestic violence has always been a big issue. If a man put his hands on a woman for anything else other than love making and the woman is I'll say the woman didn't initiate it or didn't deserve it, then he's a problem. 
if a man puts a, if a man puts his hands on you and trying to be dominant, try to put you in your place and try to and try to make you something that you're that trying to make you something that's his or trying to make you his property, then that's a problem. That's a red flag, baby. That flag right there, when it's red, it's time to go. It ain't time to hold up. It ain't time to stay around. It's time to get up and get out. You know what I'm saying? When you see that coming, it's time to grab them kids and get out. No matter how much money this dude got, no matter what this clout is, it's time to go. No matter if he's rich or poor, it's time to go because you don't deserve that. But unfortunately for this Willoughby Hills uh, local woman, and this is in my hometown of Ohio, Willoughby Hills is a suburb of Cleveland. This dude has set this young lady on fire, stabbed her six times, and put a gun to the back of her head. My back, my arms, my head, and my eye right here. And then I have my stab wounds. I'll stab six times on this side and cut. Her and her sister was a victim of, of this, this, this monster, this, this dude that lost his mind for some reason. Now, they probably might have been in an argument or whatever, and it probably might have escalated. Maybe she started hitting on him, and maybe one thing led to another. But, dude, she don't, lead, she, she don't need to look like this. You know what I'm saying? She looking, she's in bad shape. Surgeries for the rest of her life because this dude just broadly effed her up. This young lady says that he did all this in front of her kids, her three kids. Now, all the kids, I believe it's his, too. You know, I believe it's his, too. She said, and I quote, I was scared for my sister, my kids. I could hear my son say, oh, no, fire. I have to play dead once he started stabbing me so he could stop. Venetia Reese and her sister were stabbed, tied up, and set on fire in front of her three young children. I played dead once he started stabbing me. I... The suspect, his name is Alan Crawford. He's the father of the kids. He thought that she was dead. He took the kids and he left. Her sister was the one that was managed, was the one that got free and was able to call for help. Now both her and her sister is in is in uh is in the hospital, but you know, now the the sister that got the brunt of the attack, she's out and she's in bad shape. Bad shape. They arrested the guy, they took him to jail. He admitted that he done what he done, but he pleaded insanity. How he, he it, it must have been ins, insanity for him to for him to do her the way he did insanity he called the police and let them know he did what he did so yeah i guess that would be an insane person you know what i'm saying but for her she says that um she want to be an advocate for for domestic you know for domestic violence for women that's in domestic violence now what happened prior to her getting that situation you know what i'm saying the red flags was there you know if the dude tried to control you as she said she said right here and i quote he was still trying to control my life like the shackles were still on the message is when you see the first signs of red flags in the very beginning, it don't matter how much money they got, what they look like, it's time to get up and go because you deserve better. It's unfortunate, baby, that you now figuring that out. You saw the red flags. You see what I'm saying? The flags was waving and you choose, you chose at that time 
not to take heed of them until the situation got dire. You see what I'm saying? So ladies, don't let the get this don't don't let the situation get dire. Don't let the situation get to the point that your life might be taken for whatever reason. Get help in the beginning. If you're not able to get help, there, there's you you I take that back. You are able to get help. There's phone numbers you can call. You can go to the police for safe haven. There's plenty of ways to get help. And if you see them flags, you better take heed because my my heart goes out to this young lady. I mean, it really do because she really looks bad, but I don't want the next lady to look like that. All right. Now, if you ladies, I, I tell you what, though, for real, for real, if you ladies get in the situation that a man had to put his hands on you and it's for no reason at all and he's trying to control you, yo, you better, you better start knuckling up and, you know, start taking, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get me, you, you're not gonna do me like no Willy Bobo. Uh uh, not like that. <laughs> but, um, prayers goes out to her she got a long recovery ahead of her and her kids being that her kids seeing that they gonna that's that's a lifetime of of <laughs> of mental because the kids seen it hopefully hopefully the kids can can come together and 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 make better of it though as far as the guy he's he's Hopefully he's going to jail for like a lot of terms. He don't need to come back out <laughs> for real. He don't need to come back out. Sit stab rooms, a gun, and fire. Nah, 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 nah. So ladies, ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, if you guys get in a situation and you know that situation is bad, make your way out of it. Make your way out. The last thing I want to talk about is something that I never thought I had to talk about again because this incident happened eight years ago. This this young man got in got into uh got into a situation with this bum and he killed him for no reason. And he got off in court. But his ass is back. I don't want to. I don't want to say his name because I don't want to give him no. I don't want to. I don't want to give it to him. Let's just say that when he went to court, he got acquitted of all charges because of uh, I, I guess Florida stand your ground law. Y'all know who I'm talking about. All right. I'm not going to mention his name because it don't deserve to be mentioned. But what he's doing now. Is is lightweight effed up, man. You know what I'm saying? He wants to sue Trayvon Martin's family for a hundred million dollars. Now I know the family has gotten restitution for you know for their son, but a hundred million dollars? What 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 the hell this dude is coming back in the in the spotlight to sue this family whom son he killed for a hundred million dollars. The story is nearly eight years ago this this young man has died. He would be like twenty five right about now for more than a hundred million dollars. From the parents, the attorneys, and others. He claims, now get this, he claims he was the victim of a conspiracy along with malice, persecu malice persecution, and defamation. Conspiracy? Conspiracy to what? It all played out in the media, bruh. 
You saw a young man that you thought was a thug. You confronted him. Y'all two got into a fight. You pulled out a gun and you shot him. What's, where's the conspiracy at, bro? Defamation. Where's the defamation? Where's the defamation at? Because once you got acquitted, of course you was going to be blackballed. Everybody knows you. It's like OJ. You know what I'm saying? Well, I shouldn't even say it, OJ. My bad. I shouldn't have. You know, that's nowhere, nowhere near OJ. Yeah. My fault. My fault. Wrong analogy. I I'll take that back. But this dead, this dude says defamation. He claimed, well, like, okay, so during during the time at the incident, he claimed that he shot Martin in self-defense during the scruffle. Self-defense. Okay. Now he faced charges of second degree murder and manslaughter, but he got acquitted of both of them, shedding light on the Florida's stand your law. I mean, stand your ground law. Now, my thing is this, you know, what attorney in their right mind would take this type of case? Who in their right mind is going to come and take this case to sue the family, the family's attorneys? The city, the law enforcement department, and uh, and a couple of other people. Who in their right mind is going to take that case? Well, I'll tell you who's going to take that case or who took it already. The con they said that the guy that took this case is the controversial attorney, Larry Clamon. Clamon. He alleged that one of the females in the key witness of the prosecution who testified of being on the phone at the time when Martin was being shot. He claims that she was an imposter. They accuse her for taking for standing in for another teenager, which is her half sister. My question is, how would you know who was on the phone, bruh? When he was when he was when he was getting shot how would you know who was on the phone you don't you don't know who was on the phone they the young lady came in and, and testified that she was on the phone so you gotta go with that testify you don't know who was on the other end of that phone you shot the guy the the caller on the other end of the phone is mortified now they heard the shots. They hear they hear him breathing his last breath. And now you want to bring all of this back up again? My dude, come on. And this this lawyer dude, you going to take the case? Really? And and put this family back through uh back through it? that they went through eight years ago? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Clayman says that uh, he's going to do a news conference. He's going to do a news conference. He's inviting journalists to view a new documentary about the Martin case. I guess that's why they're back in the in the picture, right? Somebody somebody did a doc uh, a documentary, and now the guy who I who will remain nameless on this channel for several reasons is in his feelings now because he's he's not getting paid. Now he wants a hundred million dollars. You guys think he's gonna get that? Do you? Let me ask you. Do you guys really think he's gonna get that? 
a hundred million dollars. Come on. This dude over here talking about making it like he's the victim. Oh, I, I, I'm the victim. I, I, I can't get a job. I can't, uh, I, I can't show my face. Of course you can't, because of what you done, bro. Allegedly. Let me let me just throw that out there. I don't need YouTube to come back and tell me. Uh, you know, I don't need that. So allegedly, you know, that allegedly that he pulled out a gun, allegedly that he killed Trayvon Martin, allegedly, because he got acquitted of everything. So a jury of his peers saw fit to say hey we believe him it was in self defense it probably wouldn't have been in self defense if he hadn't have bothered the young man in the first place I mean the dude was walking to go to his father's house with a can with a with an Arizona can of tea and a pack of fucking Skittles in his pocket excuse my language what because he had a hoodie on that made him that make him a thug a hundred million dollars man oh man so yo guys just let me know what you guys think of these stories right here these uh these uh topics this evening i really do appreciate you guys staying on and yo let's y'all want to come in y'all want to come in this game this cdl big rig 18 wheel hauling trucking y'all want to come in y'all want to get in y'all y'all want to get in yo holler at uh ho holler at me for for that good information and if i and listen if i can't find it if i can't find if if i don't know the 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 the, qu the answers to your questions trust me i will research and find it for you and that is still free you know what i'm saying now I can understand if I, let me rewind it back. I know I'm I'm bringing it back. Let me bring it back a little bit. The OGs in the game that's been in this game since the '30s, all the way up to now, them the ones that deserve to get paid. Not a YouTube trucker that been in the game for less than five years. Them the ones that deserve to get paid. Them the ones that that deserve to to tell their knowledge of what went on. Because back then is different than what it is now. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of a lot of guys out here screaming to the top of their lungs, saying that this big wheel, 18 wheel CDL trucking is the best. It's the best thing out here. It is. But you guys already seen that, what, about 10, about 10, 15 trucking companies just closed this year, including Celadon, that just got rid of over 4,000, 4,000 jobs and about 1,500 or 2,000 of them is trucking jobs. So this big wheel, 18 wheel trucking, CDL trucking, is still is it still a good idea to get into? Maybe, maybe for some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Try to maybe some of y'all will try to hit that that six figures, that six figure, that six figure. That's that's what y'all trying to hit. But I don't know. I don't know. Would you guys pay for a membership to 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 learn about trucking? It's the same information that what you would get from other YouTubers that's that's giving the game for free. Now maybe he got other maybe he got other things in store, but this is not a shot. Adam, no, no, no. I respect his hustle. As a matter of fact, I like his hustle. So this is not a shot tune. So 
Guys, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your host tonight, Lockout Men. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys want to donate to me, by all means, hit me up with the coffee. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up with the PayPal. Hit me up with the cash app. So definitely hit me up with that. I really do appreciate it. I will come back at y'all with another.